and we found it guys this is the one and you are lucky because it's, this one contains the latest advanced circuit that is what i was looking for all right so now i'm sorry because it's not clear for you but it's clear for me you don't know arabic anyway i will be the one to translate so let's go ahead and translate it so that we can understand some information about this great circuit here it is uh, the icta7642 em radio okay it is actually in a package of t092 and that's the package of the transistor and it is a monolithic circuit that's why it's just like a transistor it contains inside equivalent of 10 transistors 15 resistors and four capacitors in general that will make 29 electronic components okay that's nice all right it works on 1.2 volts to 6 volts i'm not sure about this information and it's not really clear i don't know if it is 1.2 or 6 or what 1.2 yes I think it can reach to two volts only. Anyway, we can experiment that. Uh, there is an equivalent for it. It is called MK484, and this is the old. It's old. It's the oldest. Okay. There is another copy with another name called UTC7642. Cont uh, requires the minimum number of electronic components. It requires very low quiescent current, 0.2 milliampere. All right. It means that sometimes it is called tuned radio frequency, TRF, tuned radio frequency, because it's actually set up for amplifying the frequency. Anyway, and here it works on this range. 550 kilohertz to 1600 kilohertz and here's the block diagram this is our uh, integrated circuit and it has inside a RF amplifier radio frequency amplifier and a detector then you have to provide a capacitor variable capacitor with uh, a coil this is the RF coil and an audio amplifier with a speaker of course here those are the pin out of the uh, transistor with this way from above that this one will be the output but here this is number one and it's called the ground you connect to the ground you connect the negative rail and this is n where the signal get inside from the uh, rf signal here okay and this is the out it gives you the uh, output of the whole circuit okay provided that you make sure that you are already having this tuning circuit now this one with this one it is called all tuning circuit okay now let's go ahead and study this fantastic tested and advanced circuit okay now this is actually working in three volts battery and that's the common circuit for all for many actually many radio circuits because you need the three volts to actually operate an audio power an effective audio power amplifier but you have to actually step it down by using two capacitors one and four one four eight those are the famous uh, uh, i'm sorry diodes those are two diodes and you use this uh, kind of diode one and four one four uh for uh, for eight and it's just like this Just like this. So two diodes, one and four, one for eight, and uh, a 150 ohm R3 and 5.6 kilo ohms. Those actually with the, the connection of the uh, uh, T 
TE764. This will make sure that this from here to here, if you just measure it, you will get 1.8 volts, okay? 1.7, 1.8. So all you have to do, number one, is to bring a variable capacitor, gang variable capacitor, and only you connect from one side. This side should be 130 picofarads. That's the minimum. You can use 90 picofarads, but the best is 130 picofarads, okay? This is the capacity of this one. You connect immediately to the uh, uh, coil. And the coil, as you can see here, it is uh, L1 is no less than 60 turns. And the size is 30, a standard uh, uh, size, which will equal to 0.3 millimeters. Standard wire go, go, I'm sorry, standard wire gauge. Okay? Now, after you connect them in parallel, take one side, which is this side, and connect it to the entrance, which is the middle pin of the, uh, of the IC. Right? Then from the out, which is number, this is number one, number two, number three. These are the pins. Okay? So just connect to R2, 3.3 kilos, okay? And it will be connected to this node here, where you have 5.6 kilos before the battery, three volts, the positive rail. And from here, this is a, uh, a step down circuit that will take you, you have to connect to the negative rail, all right? And now you come to the output. In the output here, also you bring a wire to here, connected to 100 kilo ohms, and with two capacitors, C2 and C1. C1 is 0 0.01, 0 0.01 microfarad, which is uh, coded as 130, and uh, C2 is 0 0.047 microfarad, which is coded for seven, uh, three uh, ceramic capacitors. You connect them all to the negative rail. You connect ground to the negative rail, and then you bring a wire from here to here. By the way, you can put it here and connect from here. It's okay that if you replace the two others, but just connect it like this. Now from here, you will get the signal out. Connect it to a coupling capacitor, 10 microfarads, the best, and connect this one to your audio amplifier. And you are done. This is the circuit, again, the CX, the capacity of this capacitor is 130 picofarads. That's the best. C1 is coded 103, which is 0.01 microfarad. C2 is 0.047 microfarad, which is 473 coded. C3, C3 is, is, is here, is this one, is 10 microfarads. And you have R1. 100 uh, kilo ohm, R2, 3.3 kilo ohms, R3, 150 ohms, R4, 5.6 ohms. This is R4, 5.6 ohms. Okay, I will keep this. Of course, this is the L1. It's better to use 100 turns, but 60 turns is the minimum and it's enough. And it's 30, it's 30 standard wear good or 0.31 millimeters. That's the size. You have two diodes, famous one and four, one, four, eight, and that's it. You will get an EM effective, beautiful circuit. I will leave it to the screen for some time so that you can print it out. Next, we will go to the breadboard. And we will build this project. Step down diodes. 
they step down the power from 3 volts to 1.8 when it comes to here if you measure from here you'll find one i'm sorry it, they drop down the voltage from 3 volts to 1.8 which goes to the uh, uh, IC7642 here as it's required that is the best voltage two voltage is okay now more than that is okay but it's not it's not going to help you it's not going to provide you with the uh, maximum performance because remember after all this is actually stages for uh, RF amplification and they need very little voltage okay all right and this is here this is the audio power amplifier and this capacitor is 10 microfarads it is c3 so we connect to the capacitor c3 like this and we connect the other part of our audio amplifier with uh, the negative rail okay now we have our battery here it is connected to the negative rail okay we will only connect the positive rail but first let's turn our audio amplifier on remember this is our audio amplifier it's working on six volts but you can make your own audio power amplifier and connect to the, the three volts so to complete your radio and becomes a standalone em radio okay now uh, let's go ahead and connect this radio with r4 remember we will connect to here this is r4 and r4 is 5.6 yeah, 5.6 kilos, kilo ohm. You can connect from here also, and from here, the audio power amplifier. So, one, two, three. Okay, that's good, it's working nicely. The problem is you need to check the connection from time to time. Anyway, anyway, remember to just only uh, make the balance between the capacitor and the coil so that you will get the best uh, alignment. And also there are some tremors behind this uh, BVC. Remember just to use them properly and to reach the maximum better uh, alignment okay thank you very much any question or something can write it on the comment i need everybody to just build it at home thank you and see you soon